Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and I got a little emergency video. Technology has advanced at a rate that I honestly predicted. Now, I remember a year ago when we looked at this footage, remember the AI Will Smith eating spaghetti pasta? Yeah, it doesn't look that great. Downright scary in some cases, but this was artificial intelligence attempting to make a video together. Now, if you look at the actual time this got uploaded, 10 months ago, okay, almost a year at this point. Now, I'm going to ask the audience, ladies and gentlemen, how, how, fa how much do you think AI video got upgraded? Well, if your answer is, God damn, it looks almost indistinguishable, then uh, yeah, I guess you're right. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Sora, okay, which is actually OpenAI's new model. Now, before anybody says, Muda, can I try it? No, you actually can't. And apparently it's locked behind like safety testers for now. Uh, just so I guess nobody can come around and make like the most fake news posts and uh, start sharing it all over Boomer Book to get your, uh, you know, your family scared about the impending doom that might hit us. But ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to like look into this because my God, the results that I'm about to show you are a bit mind blowing, okay? Now, ladies and gentlemen, you're looking at this image of a woman walking near us on camera. You got a whole bunch of people walking in the background. And of course, you're noticing that, God damn, the signs are looking kind of weird. But overall, this is a pretty interesting shot of downtown Tokyo. You know, you got sort of the GTA 5 graphic mod ground. It's all really uh, nice and, uh, I guess you could say... Uh, reflective? Yeah, this is actually AI generated, okay, ladies and gentlemen? It's goddamn insane. You know, and again, as somebody that, like, kind of knows their AI a little bit here and there, one thing I can say is this is damn near convincing, okay? Now, obviously, ladies and gentlemen, if you look very carefully at it, you'll probably notice some mistakes. For instance, in the background, I don't know what's going on with this individual. I don't know if they're missing hands. Maybe they're wearing a straight jacket and escaped from a mental asylum. All right, maybe the jungler let him go. I've got no fucking clue. If you look at some of these signs, uh, I'm not a kanji expert, but even I know there's some questionable sassiness going on. But for the most part, yeah, AI from the Will Smith spaghetti eating days has kind of jumped up to an insane level. Now, obviously, there's other footage. For instance, here's some woolly mammoths running near you. And obviously, if you look very carefully, you can probably see that, you know, if you look at the smoke, you look at some things, it does look kind of computer generated. But it's it's a massive leap from what we had a year ago with those Dolly video image generator. It almost feels like 10 years of progress has passed in the world of artificial intelligence. This crazy train doesn't stop. Even like the human faces are looking so goddamn good to the point that again, you have to look real careful at the issues. You have to look real careful at things in order to find some serious breaks in the matrix. And unless you're looking at the text on some of these items, you like this for instance, where the AI fails to properly insert real text, yeah, then you might be able to identify. But see, this is like somebody like me that knows what to look for, just looking at all the matrix breaks. Try showing this to somebody, you know, who doesn't have the technical expertise, somebody who's just a normie in this, they'll probably think somebody for real shot this. Dude, it's kind of insane. Like some of these shots of like these guys reading a book, like the human beings almost look lifelike. The only thing that gives it away is some of the smoothness of these animations. This feels a little bit too smooth. Like you're watching a soap opera on television that's like shot at 60 frames. It's kind of weird in that regard, almost uncanny. So again, they even shot some historical footage. I shit you not, so you could really fuck with some old people. This is for instance, California during a gold rush. You see people walking around, horses, buildings, and again, you really have to look carefully at things like windows, where the AI fails to properly populate what appears to be a real building. Like, obviously, if you looked at some of the proportion of these, like, buildings, it looks weird, okay? I don't know what's going on here. I don't know how these windows are placed here. And God knows what kind of an embarrassment of architecture it exists here. But again, if you start looking really closely, you can see the cracks in the matrix. But for the most part, this is some pretty goddamn good-looking video. Look at how insane the eyeball here looks. Like, my God, that's some properly goddamn made skin texture. Now, again, because we don't have access to this, I really have no idea how long it took for the AI to generate these videos, okay? Remember, the AI for now is apparently, according to the uh, developers, can only make up to like one minute of footage, right? So, again... It makes one minute of footage based on these prompts, and the prompts for this is extreme close-up of a 24-year-old woman's eyes blinking, standing in Marrakech during magic hour. Cinematic film shot in 70mm, depth of field, vivid color, cinematic. 
So again, it could have taken the AI, I don't know, hours, maybe a day to generate all of these frames, combine them together. It could have taken it, fuck, an hour, maybe like half an hour. That would be insane if true. Now, of course, ladies and gentlemen, if you think Pixar is about to shit itself, they're not. They're probably just gonna use this technology to outsource it instead of actually hiring real artists. Yeah, even animation isn't safe, okay? Anybody can type cartoon kangaroo, kangaroo disco dances and get an animated like movie quality of a kangaroo doing disco dances. But I think what's so goddamn scary is this one right here, a beautiful homemade video showing the people of Lagos. Like this actually looks like goddamn drone footage shot. The only thing that's so weird that I can tell right now is look at how this lady's face sort of like moves around her body. It's almost uncanny. The AI isn't perfect, but goddamn is it impressive. Like my mind is being blown watching this footage. So obviously the clip that I think everyone must have seen was like, this one, for instance, where it almost looked like somebody was inside a train, literally like riding it. Like this also just straight up looks like footage from somebody in a train. It even has the reflection of like an actual person, you know, using their cell phone. Obviously where the AI breaks is when they're failing to record it. Like there clearly isn't any GoPro on her head, nor is the camera staring. So there are some breaks in the matrix. It's so like uncanny. Sometimes it just feels like it's out of a movie almost, right? Like they rotoscoped the actual camera out and called it a day. It's insanity. And of course, obviously, if you look at some of these buildings closely, you can see that they're not uniform, like windows are misplaced. But again, you really have to look. You really have to start looking. Like it's got to a point where if somebody could use this to create like fake images, like fake battlefields, like fake war footage, it could be used like, it, it may seriously be brought into like a court or something. It's scary. Yeah, like look at this footage of like straight up Chinese Lunar Year celebration video with Chinese dragon. Again, the human beings look more realer than ever. And of course, the way that they're interacting looks more real. We've gotten way past the point where AI could generate crowds, but obviously, you know, even a blind person could tell the crowds were filled with nonsense. This is to a point where like, this is genuinely looking like real footage. Like if you just sat back, you could slap in like, you know, a news bumper, you could slap in like a ticker and you could make this look like it came out of the Chinese news agency. The one footage that everyone's sort of seeing over here is obviously this one, where you can start to see like beautiful snowy Tokyo city is bustling, camera moves through the bustling city streets, following several people enjoying the beautiful snowy weather and shopping and more. So again, you can see like vehicles over here, for instance, like the buses, for instance, they're moving in the same line. This one's about to collide. And of course, in some cases, the kanji makes sense, but you can start to see like, again, these are human beings holding hands, walking through a bustling street. And this is where obviously the one crack in the matrix shows. For instance, these two people, this guy phases through, this one guy sits down and falls right through. You can see the jitter. So it's not perfect, but it's a lot better than I honestly expected. This is some crazy stuff to watch. I mean, this, this actually blows me away too. Like this is, I can tell it's computer generated, but again, compared to like the Will Smith spaghetti eating we saw a year ago, this is like, this could be, this could be inserted into a movie, you know, it's like some B-roll footage or whatever. We're at a point where Hollywood could be using this kind of technology to literally insert B-roll drone. Like instead of getting a drone to like fly over like a major city, you could just type in a prompt and within like half an hour as you're doing something else, that entire footage that you put into a movie or a TV show generates and you bring it in. So obviously this kind of AI, I'm pretty sure is gonna be used by the, by, the, by the entire media industry. I'm sure it's gonna be used by a lot of people. And one of the things they talk about is the safety, for instance, where they talk about you know, areas like misinformation, hateful content, bias, whatever. They'll be adversarially, adver, adversarially testing the model. So it's so brain, it's so brain breaking to see this kind of shit show up. And obviously with artificial intelligence like this video wise, while OpenAI is closed stuff, so you need to sign up to an account. Obviously when this tool gets released to the public, you're doing it within their services. But I could imagine a tool like this eventually makes its way to GitHub and somebody downloads it, trains their own model, and all of a sudden you have people generating videos without that sort of like authority that some of these big tech firms have with their big AI models. That might be a thing sometime going into the future. And that's where it gets scary, right? Like you could imagine the world of scams, misinformation, it's all gonna ramp up to like 11. Like AI is getting to a point where it's like genuinely scary shit. 
So yeah, I wanted to kind of talk about this because it's been blowing my mind all day. Like I've genuinely been shocked basically looking at all of this. Um, and you know what? This is just a year after the spaghetti eating video. If it's this good now, imagine again, another year. Imagine down in 2025 when like GTA 6 is finally releasing or it's delayed or whatever. By that moment, the videos may be getting to a point where even if you have a keen eye like me, trying to discern it, it's gonna be difficult, man. It's gonna be tough. But yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Sora is here and it's so mind boggling, dude. Like how crazy some of this stuff has gotten. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, AI has gotten real, AI has gotten scary, and it's something I always said was gonna happen. It's just wild to see how quickly it's advancing. Anyways, this is me, Mudahar, and uh, yeah, I am out.